In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace and love of God our Father and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, to prepare our hearts to enter into the sacred mysteries, let us together call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I could not talk to you as spiritual people, but as fleshly people, as infants in Christ. I fed you milk, not solid food, because you were unable to take it. Indeed, you are still not able, even now, for you are still of the flesh. While there is jealousy and rivalry among you, are you not of the flesh and walking according to the manner of men? Whenever, whenever someone says, I belong to Paul, and another, I belong to Apollos, are you not merely men? What is Apollos, after all, and what is Paul? Ministers through whom, you, through whom you became believers, just as the Lord assigned each one. I planted, Apollos watered, but God caused the growth. Therefore, neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything but only God who causes the growth. He who plants and he who waters are one, and each will receive wages in proportion to his labor. For we are God's co-workers. You are God's field, God's building. The word of the Lord. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. For heaven, the Lord looks down, he sees all mankind. Blessed the Lord. For, his fixed, for from his fixed throne, he beholds all who dwell on the earth. He who fashioned the heart of each, he who knows all their works. Blessed. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. For in him our hearts rejoice, in his holy name we trust. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus left the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon. Simon's mother-in-law was afflicted with a severe fever, and they interceded with him about her. He stood over her, rebuked the fever, and it left her. She got up immediately and waited on them. At sunset, all, the pe all who had people sick with various diseases brought them to him. He laid his hands on them and cured them. And demons also came out of many, shouting, You are the Son of God. 
But he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak because they knew that he was the Christ. At daybreak, Jesus left and went to a deserted place. The crowds went looking for him, and when they came to him, they tried to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, To the other towns also I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, because for this purpose I have been sent. And he was preaching in the synagogues of Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Paul addresses his believers in the first reading who have separated themselves into human factions following Paul or following Apollos. He, Paul, encourages them to focus on God, the source of all growth. In the gospel, Jesus heals Simon's mother-in-law and cures others brought to him throughout the night. We, my dear brothers and sisters, are God's co-workers. If we are his co-workers, then we are called to let God take the lead. Do we have projects and plans we ask God to help us with? but nothing works out? Are they our plans or God's? It's important that we take time to listen. We each can do our part. Understanding the growth comes from God. We are to follow his lead. And as we listen to the gospel, my dear brothers and sisters, you know, after Jesus heals Simon's mother-in-law, after he heals the sick and pushes the demons away, it says at daybreak, Jesus left and went to a deserted place, meaning Jesus went into a place where he could commune with the Father to rest and relax in the presence of the Father. But then, as the crowds approach him, he tells them to the other towns, also I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, because for this purpose I have been sent. God leads, and we are called to follow our leader, our shepherd, our God. We're called to work alongside him. And so as Christians, we are called to labor, to work in the vineyard. Are we willing to work alongside God? Are we willing to cooperate with his plan? Are we willing to trust him with all our heart, soul, and strength? Are we willing to follow his lead, or are we following our own lead or the lead of the world? This is what we must take to heart today. And so, may we take some time for what remains of the day to listen to God. Can we do our part? Can we trust him and allow him to bring about truth growth that ultimately comes from him? Trusting in God's power to heal and save, let us offer our prayers this day. For all religious men and women, may the Lord continue to encourage them in faithful service. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For elected officials, may the Holy Spirit inspire them to seek and uphold justice in all their actions. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer with chronic illness, may Christ the healer bring them physical and spiritual healing. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For students and teachers in this faith community, may God enlighten their minds and empower cooperation for a fruitful school year. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer.
For those who have died in faith, may God turn their tears to laughter as they rejoice with all the saints and angels. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. And we remember in a special way the intention of the holy sacrifice of the Mass being offered this evening for Doris Elaine Freed Carroll. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, in your goodness, please hear and answer our prayers according to your will. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacred offering, O Lord, confirm us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery it may accomplish in power. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ronald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. May the men in the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Amen. And may the Lord bless all of you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Am
the body first. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you and our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God, St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do that, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.